1996, and it was, uh, like, I think it was January 21st we opened in, in 1996. Uh, incubation period of, of thinking about, I've always had a passion to open a, a fishing store, and uh, then in 1996, I had the opportunity, and uh, we started Hudson River Bait and Tackle, and, you know, we, uh, uh, we started out with a very small pegboard like this. That was all the tackle that we had, just hooks, sinkers, and split shots, and things like that, and just a little two-foot-by-four-foot board. And I still have that board in the shop, actually, just to remind me of where we came from and what we've grown into today. So when I, uh, I got old enough, uh, 10, 12, 11, 12 years old, uh, my mother would allow me to go up there and, and go fishing. Yeah. So uh, I, I learned a lot there, fishing in Washington Park Lake. Yeah. So then Washington Park Lake led into Buckingham Pond, which is another city-owned uh, property, and then which led into, when we got our bicycles, it led into going to uh, Six Mile Waterworks, which is another place up near the campus where you yeah. are. and. Uh, uh, just developed a passion for fishing. Uh, I remember a, a story back when I was fishing Washington Park Lake. There was a local uh, gentleman, actually, he, he owned a camp, uh, a camp for children, under inner city children, underprivileged children, out in uh, uh, Gildal and Voorheesville area around here. And his name was Ben Becker. And he was a very famous uh, he was a boxer, he was a school teacher, he had this camp, uh, worked with the, the, the county and, and stuff like that. And he ran into me, I was, uh, I was very young, and he says, uh, you know son, I never met a kid with a fishing pole in his hand mugging old lady. I'm, you know, I'm in my, my mid-fifties now, and that still sticks with me today that story of meeting him and then uh, other other stories where uh, Mayor Erastus Corning he was the longest tenured mayor in the United States and we have a place called the Alcove Reservoir well the Alcove Reservoir is the water supply for the the city of Albany and the surrounding area and my mother when I got old enough when she felt as though uh, I think 14 15 years old when she felt as though I could be trusted she would take on a Friday night, it's, which it was illegal to fish the Alcove Reservoir. Nobody could fish it. You had to trespass to fish it. And spend the weekend as outlaw fishermen at 14, 15 years old. Uh, mayor Corning, now he was the mayor then. He was out in our water supply in a motorboat with uh, Dan O'Connell and Polly Noonan. Polly Noonan, who is state Senator Kirsten Gillibrand's mother. And he ran into us and, you know, uh, hey, how you boys doing? You know, you having a good time? Oh, we're having a great time. Okay, you have a good day. So they take off in their motorboat and uh, just things like that. A lot of, a lot of good memories uh, related to fishing. Oh, well, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of different things that I like. The peace and tranquility of it seeing everything that goes on with nature. Uh, the main thing I like about it now is I can take and I can manufacture a lure to resemble a, a particular type of bait and uh, attract the fish into hitting it and having a fight with the fish. Yeah. And, uh, you know, uh, it just feels good for something that I made with my hands. I could trick that fish into eating and hitting catching them. You know, you don't realize that you're, you're fairly young now, but you won't realize it for another few years. You're going to wake up someday and you're going to be 55 years old and say, wow, I was just 25 yesterday. Okay, and uh, just so much happens so fast in life. Those moments that you can get away and go fishing, for instance, are very, very important. Yeah. Very important because life goes by in the blink of an eye.